And uh, welcome to the first of many C++ lessons. Now for these lessons, I'm going to be using Xcode on a Mac. And if you want to follow uh, these tutorials exactly the way I do, I recommend you install Xcode if you're uh, watching from a Mac. So uh, yeah, the first thing you want to do is install Xcode. And if you've done that, then you're going to want to go to the Xcode menu and say File, New Project. And uh, this is all for the current version of Xcode. If you have a later version or a previous version, things might be slightly different. So we're going to go to Mac OS 10, Application, Command Line Tool, C++ for the type. Now we're going to say Choose. And it's going to ask for a name of our project. First, we'll make a new folder, and we'll call it C++ Lessons. I recommend you do this too, and I'll save that onto my desktop. And uh, we'll call this lesson one. All right. So now Xcode should bring up a window that looks something like this. So uh, pretty much the only thing you really need to worry about is main.cpp. So I'll make that very big, so and focused. So it's pretty much all we're looking at. So. Now I'm going to go over the structure of a program. Uh, I'm, these tutorials are going to be uh, pretty slow paced and I'm assuming that you don't know anything. This is your first programming language and uh, the only thing I'm assuming is you've installed Xcode. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain these. If you want faster paced tutorials then uh, you could look for something else. These they are going to be slow paced for beginners. So we have, this is our program. I'm just going to space things out so you can see better and uh, this is actually a comment so this is not even part of the program I can delete that so first before I do anything else I'll just run the program that is already here for me without even writing my own program so I'm gonna kill build and run and programs they run in the console so you can either hit command shift R or you can go to uh, run and say console alright so this program all it did is say hello world so now I'm gonna explain why so this this just includes some files that you need for in C++ for it to work you can include more than that later when we might do that but for now that's the only thing we're gonna include and uh, like for example if you're doing a program that uses a lot of math you might include something that's called math.h then you have uh, your something called your main function, which is everything in between these two, um, these two, uh, what's it, uh, curly braces, and you can actually delete this. This is just going to get confusing, and we don't need to worry about that right now. So we have this, which is just include some files. Then in between the main function, we have this line of code which says "Hello world," as you can see right there. It said "Hello world." and then it just returns zero. Return zero, that just means, uh, that, don't worry about that, that just leave that there, just means return zero. So std colon colon, you don't even actually need that. If you wanna not have to put that anymore, just remember at the top of your program, say using name space std, and then put a semicolon. All code has semicolons um, at the La end of the line unless it has curly braces like this yeah so C out that stands for console out so in our console whatever message we had went out into our console and our message goes in quotes and you don't even need that that just uh, backslash n uh, that stands for uh, n stands for new line so um, that's why that you can see they put a new line there but an easier way to do it, I think, is end L, which stands for end line. Uh, it's easier for me to remember. So uh, if we're going to, for every new thing, I'll just say thing for now. Um, for every new thing that we want to print out or send out to the console, uh, we're going to put in between carrots. So we're going to put in carrots, uh, well, actually less than symbols, not carrots, but yeah. Uh, and L for end line and I'm going to space this out just the way things are easy to read because again these are for this tutorials for beginners I don't want anything to be complicated if anything is complicated just 
shoot me a question or tell me I'm going at too fast of a pace. So we're going to clear the console. To do that, you just hit clear log. And uh, you always have to save before you run. So we're going to hit build and run. And as you can see, it did exactly the same thing. Hello world. Hello world is usually uh, the first program people make when they're learning a new language. So we just, together we made this program. So as, as I said earlier, in the quotes is whatever string uh, or whatever um, chunk of text you want to send out to the console. So we can actually change this. Let's just, all that matters is it's in quotes. So why don't I change that to hello, yeah, hello viewers. Sorry about that, the phone's ringing, but I'm not going to answer that. All right, hello viewers. Now we're going to save, and then we're going to go back into the console. I'll clear it so that way that we don't have all that junk in our way, and I'll say build and run. And what do you know? It says hello viewers. So C out just means console out, and then we have our message in quotes. So we have the carrots, uh, or whatever thing we want. So the first thing we want is um, uh, a piece of text or a string that goes in quotes, and then end L for new line. So let's say I wanted another thing. I'll put another new line. So I'll put end L again. Don't worry about that. Uh, then I'll build it again. And now, now you can see there's two new lines in between. Um, so yeah, that was that was uh, one C out. That was one line of code in our main function. We're gonna put another line of code. So hopefully you understood that, and the new line of code will just be reviewed. So I'm just gonna get rid of that line because it bothered me, and just one new line is good enough. So we'll say hello, fellow viewers, or hello viewers and then we'll make a new line. You can do that by hitting enter. And then I'll say C out for console out and then Xcode already has uh, everything laid out for me. Like the carrots, the expression, the uh, semicolon. So I can just hit the right arrow key. Wow, someone really wants me to pick up the phone. All right, so I can just hit the right arrow key to accept that or I can type it out myself. I'm gonna type it out myself just cause it's good practice, so our carrots and then we're gonna put another message or another string or another chunk of text I'm gonna just refer to it as string from now on so string equals chunk of text just remember that so another chunk of text goes in quotes and um, what, what what should I put in here I'll just say thanks for watching all right hello all right so we have this and then we have this first line of code second line of code now what's the difference this line of code has an end l that's a new line but we don't even need a loon line we just wanted one more piece of text so what do we need a semicolon all lines of code end without a semicolon so let, let me just try not putting a semicolon and see what happens so if i don't put a semicolon it'll um give me an error right there and I'll say expected semicolon before return. That means it's expecting a semicolon before this return. So let's go before the return. Do, 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 right there. All right, a semicolon. So it will tell you what the error is to some extent and help you debug, but it's a great habit to just remember to put a semicolon. I'm just going to, now that we're familiar with the semicolons, I can put them right by the end L and that won't confuse you. All right, so now I save my program. Let's try, now that it has a semicolon, let's try building it again. So let's clear the log, and then I'll build it again. Hello, viewers, thanks for watching. And the reason why it says running there, um, and not like down there like it did before is because there's no end L, so it's gonna do whatever on the same line. But this is all uh, part of one program, our first C++ program. And so yeah, if you've watched this video, you successfully made your first C++ program. And all this does is print out two lines. But you can you can have infinite C out statements. You could say C out one or C out two or you know, let me let me try putting a lot of C out statements and seeing what happens. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it a couple times. 
and then we'll hit build and run. So essentially, well, yeah, I should have put a new line that all runs on the same line. So that that's kind of annoying, but pretend, pretend. I think you all, you, that's not too confusing. So it says, "Hello, viewers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching." So I can have as many um, see out statements as I want, and they the, the code runs in this order from top to bottom. So it'll run here and it'll go and say. Hello viewers, you can put whatever you want in there. I put hello viewers, your first string, and then it makes a new line, and then it says, all right, let me print something else to the console, and then it prints this string, and then it goes to the next line of code, and then it uh, print goes prints something else to the console, which is another string, and that string is also, thanks for watching, and you, you, you get the idea. So it starts here, and it ends right before your return, and it runs all the code in that order, and yeah, so hopefully, I'm just going to delete that because that is some ugly code right there. So hopefully this tutorial wasn't too fast of a pace and you were able to understand it. Um, so hello fellow viewers and thanks for watching. Um, yeah, uh, feel free to come back to our channel for more videos later. Uh, this has been the first of many C++ videos. Thanks for watching.